see. I'll get with that so the light keeps struggling a little bit. Don't know why. Um, have a new journal. Um, I will be covering this cover at some point because it's just a cardboard cover. Um, I'm going to try something new in it. And I've glued two pages together. There's a nice thick base. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing is faces, experimenting with faces. I'm sorry about that light, I've seen it flash again. Um, I have to turn that one off. Um, so this is inspired by a video I was watching, Gina Aaron's, and I cannot remember what video it was, but she started her painting the way I'm going to start it today, or do my painting today. She changed her method sort of part way through, but I'm going to stick with it, and I'm just going to pop some down the middle just because this, I just want this journal to stay strong so I'm adding this for stability mm, it's very flashy isn't it ah oh it's not going well crease up hang on let's get that crease there so this wasn't a very expensive journal really um, but I just wanted something with fairly strong pages. Sorry, I've just done that off. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so I may do something on the first page different, but. The faces are going to be double page spreads, so I may, um, might do some writing on the first page, I might even do some notes on each page, I'm not really sure about that. But okay. um, just to... Just to tie that in, I'm just going to dot a little bit in there. Just as the background. There we go. I think that will do, not really sure what I'm going to do with the background, probably just a few splatters and keep it simple. I want it to be about the face really. And what we're going to use is this. So this journal is all about abstract. It's going to be about using different materials to make faces because whenever I make a face, I always seem to do it the same way. Oh, please excuse my hands, that's just from work. It's just <laughs> cardboard cuts and things like that. Um, Yes, yeah, so I always use the same method. I do a very precise face, and I want this journal to be a bit more abstract, loose. So we'll see how we go with that. Um, yeah, and it's all inspired by one video I saw by Gina Aarons. If I can find it, I will link it. But just go and check out Gina Aarons anyway, because she's very cool. So now I need to just turn off the camera so I can get my paints ready. Um, and I'll probably time lapse through what I'm doing. Um, and then I'll let you know at the end how long it takes. So there we go. Be back in a sec.
so she took me 27 minutes and I'm really happy with it it's exactly what I wanted abstract um, I love the way those paints work together as well They're just from um, Tiger I've used these before in quite a few of my videos um, they are translucent so they mix really well together um, I was going to add some of the warmer colours but I think that is perfect so now I'm going to just do a little experiment and I have um, used my heat gun on her to dry her off a little bit I'm going to put that there to cover her face a little bit we're going to add some water and just experiment this could be interesting um, with So, yeah, it's not a perfect face, but that's not what we were going for. We were going for loose, abstract, fun. Getting out of the comfort zone. So some other things I'm planning on trying is sort of um, using a paintbrush but holding the end or same thing with a crayon or pencil and um, something like that. Um, maybe collage, crazy collage. Um, dripping, splattering, using watery watercolour inks and paints and letting it be loose and yeah just things that I've never done before as I say I've always done faces the same way pretty much um, so yeah so I might once that splattery bit's dry just make a note up there of what's gone on here so probably just put something like um acrylic paints applied with spatula you know simple and a date yeah so I love that and join me next time for the next installment hope you enjoyed it I'll see you guys soon bye bye